Havana. So today we're going to Havana to try alfajores. This is like the it name in Argentina when you're looking to try alfajores. And the ones we're gonna be eating are quite different from the ones we've tried elsewhere in South America. So let's just stop talking about it and go in and try them. Yes, Come we're on. hungry people, hungry. embarrassing ordering this because the waitress was looking at me like really you want to try all of them there's six of them so we kind of look like little pigs well, but I mean, if we're doing a taste test we have to try every single variety and they have six at this cafe so we had to do it had to be done but anyways um, what is an alpha whore? I guess that's the big question so it's basically like two crumbly cookies that are smushed together usually with dulce de leche or some kind of different filling and then they can be covered in like icing sugar or chocolate or meringue so it's a really nice treat you can have it for breakfast in my opinion I would totally eat these for breakfast or as a little snack it's actually a really popular snack with kids this is what they take to school so an interesting fun fact, Argentines consume the most alfa jores per capita and total of anywhere else in the world. Yep. They're, they're, <laughs> they're, they're considered to be the most popular snack among school children and also adults. So you get hooked early on and it's a, it's a lifelong fun addiction. So why did we choose Havana to go get our alfa jores? because this is the most established name in the whole country. The company was founded in 1948 in a nearby city called Mar del Plata. And as I was saying earlier, these are my favorite brand of alfajores. Like, this is what I think of when I remember sweet also, snacks Also, it's, it's my your dad's favorite brand too. Yeah. yeah, so let's get started. Let's start opening these. Let's try them. Come on. So we are going to start with the classic. This one is filled with dulce de leche and then bathed in chocolate. Oh. Look at that thing of beauty. Thing of beauty. And we're going to cut them in half because it is our intention to share. <laughs> and also so and we can show you what's in the inside. show you the filling as well. Let's see that. So there you go. Two cookies, dulce de leche in the middle, chocolate on the exterior. Let's just dig right in. Mm. Oh yeah, this is what I've been waiting for, a real authentic alfajor. And there's yet another flavor to sample. Yes. So what's this one? Sam? So I think this one may be the dark chocolate one. Yeah. Mm. That's really good. So is it bitter? Is it like a bitter dark chocolate? Surprisingly got a, a decent amount of sugar added. I mean, I still prefer the milk chocolate, but this is a really good one. Mm. Maybe for those who are looking for something a little bit more healthy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can lie to yourself. Yeah. Okay, next up, this one is dulce de leche. And it is covered with meringue. This is my favorite. Like This is the one I order anytime I'm in the Havana coffee shop. Look at that. Thing of beauty. Mm. The meringue is just perfect. I forgot to cut this one in half. Sorry, you, Sam. That was that's evil. That was intentional. Mm. Look at that. Alright, and I have a feeling that this one is for chocolate lovers. I think it has a chocolate cream in the middle. So let's cut that one in half. Actually remember to do that this time. And yes, it is just pure chocolate. This <laughs> is getting all over my hands. It's kind of warm in here, so the chocolate keeps mm. melting on our fingers before we can even eat it. Mm. Yeah. That's nice and chocolatey. Yeah. So yeah, if you're if you're not a huge fan of jam or dulce de leche. This is the one for you, this is for chocolate lovers. All right, next up, this one is filled with jam and oh my goodness, this is also meringue. This makes me very, very happy. Day. Lucky girl. Okay, so 
I'll cut it in half. Oh wow, that looks like a jam. Have a look in there, yeah, so that's a dark jam. Let's see. Mmm, okay. And so this is called Membrillo, and it's a quince jam, which isn't really a very popular fruit in North America, but you'll find it everywhere here in Argentina. They use it a lot in pastries, and that's really nice. It's a dark reddish color. It's good. Does it have a strong flavor? Mmm, it's like a little bit tart, but they obviously add a lot of sugar in, so I like it. And last but not oh, least. Look. It looks like it's, I don't know if this one's meringue or if Ooh, it's white chocolate. white chocolate. I think it's white chocolate. So this one is the one that has nuts. Yeah. This has Brazil Brazilian and nuts and walnuts. Ooh, look, look at, at that. that. And I think it's dulce de leche inside. This this one may be my favorite. Is it dulce de leche or is it a nut cream? Dulce de leche. Is it? Oh, the face says it all. Of course it's dulce de leche. This is my favorite one. Yeah? Oh yeah. Favorite of the bunch? Whenever you add high quality nuts like that and then you have white chocolate and dulce de leche that's just that is the all-time winning combo this one was made just for me i think so that was a lot of sugar consumption so early in the day yeah i think i'm going to be on a sugar high for <laughs> pretty much the rest of the day unless i crash okay so let's talk about price point how much do these cost individually so these are these are really uh, affordable you're basically looking at 19 pesos actually that's was the price for every single one of them mm -hmm. so that's roughly about a dollar 25 a dollar 30 us so really cheap you can come in here and if you want to be as greedy as us order all six and you can get them for under 10 bucks yeah and these are actually the most expensive alpha horse you can get in, in the whole city like there are much cheaper brands if you're looking for something a bit more affordable that's true but you won't find but these are the best you won't find too many that are better quality than these ones. Yeah.